Williams Day on a Wednesday, deal with it. I'm Williams Ford. Number five. Motorola releases the Evoque and piles of iPhones were seen filling garbage cans and thrift store shelves. Yes, the Evoque with a full 12 button keypad and a touchscreen that might even function. iPhone and G1 users alike reported that they did not see the reason in keeping their old smartphones when the generic Moto OS was packaged right in with the phone. Number four, Microsoft finally admits that Vista was a failure and that it had not been for the many features stolen from OS X10, it wouldn't have even functioned. Microsoft felt safe in admitting this because their new I'm not cool enough for a Mac ads have provided so much income that they are no longer afraid of Apple's gaining power in the computer market. Number three, the Apple Netbook is released. It has a 10 inch touchscreen, three gigs of memory, a 164 gig solid state drive, and a processor to rival desktops. The netbook is a bit of an investment, running at the base price of $2,700. When asked why the new device was so expensive, Apple simply stated that it was a really small and advanced thing, so we need to get some of the money made off of it. Also, there are no tactile buttons on the netbook. They have all been integrated into a remote that must be used to function. However, the device will read all of your documents to you in a nearly understandable voice. Number two. Resident Evil 5 is playable. The game received a patch on every console today that allows for you to fire while moving. It involves simply opening the game tray, throwing away the disc, then inserting Gears of War 2. The patch then adds multiple extra characters and confusing plot lines, which are all to be resolved and explained in Resident Evil 6. And number one, on live works. It's not just some strange and completely theoretical game ideal. The unit simply plugs into your TV and through the developer stated magic, you can play any game on demand with no lag, even though each button press must be sent to some server, processed, and then returned to the unit. Also, as soon as you connect on the first day, there are already hundreds of titles and thousands of players waiting to join you in an online game. When asked about the science behind it, officials simply stated, well, it worked with two users at CES, why not 200,000? This has been Tech Tuesday. If you were confused, I would go look at my calendar. And until next week, I'm Liam Spore. Then, who knows who I may be?